Hi everybody, another package has arrived. Let's take a look, see what's inside this one. Definitely need one of those knives, like Dave Jones says. Uh, packing peanuts. I hate packing peanuts. Okay, a little box. Okay, well that's what it is. It's an Agilent U1253B, which is an OLED multimeter. Uh, it's quite high end. And <laughs> it plays a tune when you turn it on. <laughs> so it's got a dual dual display, it's got temperature at the top there. And the battery that this uses is rechargeable. And you charge it via the two uh, inputs jacks on the front here. So you use this positive jack and this is the negative jack or the ground jack. And um, you can charge it. Display is a little, little bit marked. I'm not too worried about that. I can polish most of that out. Um, I've got some special polish to polish displays. Only nickel metal hydride battery can be charged. Nine volt. So yeah, it takes a basically takes a PP3 um, nine volt rechargeable. <laughs> I like the little tune it plays when you turn it on. Oh, I see. You can vary the brightness. There is an issue with these meters. I was wary about buying one of these, but I wanted something that would show up well on camera. Now, the issue these meters have is the display fades. Um, after a while, the display gets dimmer and dimmer and dimmer until it disappears altogether. So I was hesitant to buy one of these meters. However, this meter has had the display changed. The original meet, the original display is in here. So when I saw it advertised and it had had the display replaced already I thought well then I don't mind buying the meter if it's had the display changed so I guess this is the original display that Agilent had installed and I'm assuming it faded out like all the other uh, displays that come with the original meters. So this is a replacement meter screen and touch wood, fingers crossed and all that, that it behaves and it doesn't fade away like the original meter screens, OLED screens do. But I guess that remains to be seen. Um, <laughs> I don't want to hold my breath, but I'm just, I'm just assuming it's going to be more reliable than the original. So, that's what turned up in the mail today. That's the Agilent U1253B. And let's pop a couple of leads in it. 
do some quick measurements before I go. Let's uh, see what it makes of the Omite decade resistance box. So let's put it on resistance and right now it's reading 0.2 ohms which is interesting uh, because that's what I was measuring with my other meter with the leads just the leads on their own so let's null that out okay so I've nulled out the 0.2 resistance of the leads so that should be about 100 ohm yeah that's about right and 200 ohm 300 ohm 400 ohm etc. I have another decade resistance box here. I'm curious to see how accurate this one in comparison to the Ohmite decade resistance box. So the decade the Ohmite decade resistance box I've got here is supposed to be 0.1% and we're on 400 ohm, let's put it on 500 ohm. 500 ohm right there. Okay, so I'm letting it settle down. So 500.34, that's reading. So let's go to 500 ohm on this one. Okay, let's go to zero, first of all. Alright, we're on zero now. And let's null that out. Let's get a 500 ohm. That's supposed to be 500 ohm. And let's see. Not sure. What's the accuracy? Alright, plus or, plus or minus 1% plus 0 0.025 ohms. So we've only got 1% accuracy with this with this jobby. So not as accurate as the Omite. And we've set the we've set the resistance box here to 500 ohm. Let's try 600 ohm. Okay, 700, 800, 900, and zero. 1k, 2k, 3k, 4k, 5k. 6k so back to zero one arm showing point nine point nine nine which is actually better than one percent assuming the, the meter is accurate two arm three arm four arm Five ohm, six ohm. Okay, seven, eight, nine, ten ohm, eleven ohm. Oh, sorry, twenty ohm. Ten ohm, twenty ohm, thirty ohm, and so forth. Okay, let's try feeding it with some power. I'm just about to see the power supply over the, in the corner here. We've got it set to 12 volts as accurately as I can set it there. Let's set this to voltage. And see what we read. Turn the power supply on. Okay, eleven point nine six eight. See how it compares to this meter here. That's actually reading twelve point zero three because it's all down to accuracy and calibration. 
<laughs> what you believe. That says 1203, that says 1203, that's interesting. Let's back that down to 12 volts. And this is a green 12 volts. It's only 11.97. Now I reverse the leads. Interesting. 11.97. Okay. And go back to the Agilent. See what the Agilent says. Eleven point nine four. Okay. Um, let's try it on this meter up the top here. See what that meter says. Out of curiosity. Voltage DC. What have we got? That says eleven point nine three eleven point nine three eight. I don't think you can see that meter, not quite. If I tip it up a little bit, you'll see it. If I tip the camera up, I think. You can just just see it at the top up here. So that's reading 11.938, 11.938, and the adjuncts reading 11.94. So they're agreeing with one another, and this little meter here is reading 11.97. So they're all within within a uh, fraction of one another, so uh, I'm pretty happy with the, the accuracy. And this uh, agent appears to be pretty accurate. I know they are pretty accurate meters. Um, so uh, I do trust the reading of the agent. Okay, so anyway. That's what was in the mailbag today. That's another meter. That's the Agilent U1253B with a nice bright working display. And um, it has had the display replaced. Fingers crossed the display works for a long time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thanks again. Bye for now.